Hello everyone, welcome to my course Fundamentals of JavaScript uh, Road to JS from HTML. Uh, this course will be very very useful for you, uh, especially if you are new to computer programming and uh, so on. And uh, this is actually a foundation course on JavaScript, so you are going to see only the basic uh, ideas on JavaScript, how to uh, you know uh, write a code in JavaScript, what are the basic syntax we have in JavaScript, and uh, so so up to uh, Somewhat, uh, some extent uh, we'll uh, discuss okay then uh, uh, that is a uh, code given here a road to JS from HTML right okay how they are connected HTML and JS this is this is the first thing that we are going to see in this lecture right okay let us go on in this so the topics to learn uh, a quick summary on HTML let us have it and relation between JavaScript and HTML the need for JavaScript the general syntax uh, the use how to get uh, output and how to give user input in javascript variables uh, so what are the uh, how to declare those variables in javascript and how to do operations on that i'm sorry how to do operations on uh, those variables mathematical operations or any kind of operation comparison operators if you are already uh, good in programming then uh, this is just an you know uh, a very easy course for you to learn okay and uh, you are going to see uh, data types what are the different data types available in javascript and how to utilize that uh, if statement if else statement for loop and while loop these are the uh, basic things that we are going to see in this course maybe in further courses we can see in, in depth about the javascript there are javascript is really vast like an ocean so you can you know swim through the ocean to uh, get more knowledge right So let us have a comparison between HTML and JavaScript, how they are really connected. So, and HTML means it's an hypertext markup language, which usually designs uh, the out outline of the web pages. Uh, it's actually used to design the outline of the web pages, how they are designed. Okay. Uh, for example, let us say if you go to Google, how the web page is designed. In Google, there will be a you know a larger name showing Google. There will be a, di a dialog box. And there will be a search in uh, search box. Google is actually basically a search engine, so there will be a search box for us to uh, search anything in Google. How to design that? So uh, please understand that your web pages, maybe your uh, college website, whatever it is, it is actually designed in HTML using HTML code. And uh, cascading style sheets, as the name suggests, it is uh, adding style to our web pages. It uh, it adds more beauty to our web pages. It in it enhances the uh, you know nature of the pages okay you can add some designs you know uh, uh, images animations transitions whatever you like using css so if you are learning html and the css would also uh, uh, will be helpful for you okay and everything in html will be uh, uh, placed inside tags and we'll see the basic syntax okay we are not going to see much deeper uh, i will see a basic syntax on how HTML should look like okay then uh, JavaScript is a scripting language please understand the difference this is HTML is actually used to design the outline of the web pages where JavaScript is used to make the web pages function now for example let us say if you have a button in uh, in a web page like submit or login if you have like that uh, that the button is actually designed using HTML uh, it's written in HTML code but if you click that button your information should be saved right or in uh, you should be directed to one another uh, page or you should be prompted that is you have submitted uh, successfully you should be alerted right that is actually done by uh, javascript so what uh, it should have do what the uh, web pages should do that is actually decided by the javascript so it's scripting language it is used to control the uh, web pages okay lot of different input functions are there yeah there are a lot of lot of function i already told you that javascript is an ocean so there are a lot of input functions uh we'll see some of the functions very very basic functions in this course so this because this is the fundamental course this is the bridge course and we'll see that okay then uh, javascript is a lightweight programming language okay you can classify programming languages into lightweight and uh, which is easy to learn and hard to learn okay i mean uh, it is not hard uh, you can say it is challenging okay uh, JavaScript is an easy language to learn. So one more uh, point I want to insist here is uh, there are there is no relation between Java and JavaScript. 
okay javascript is completely different from java okay except the name java <laughs> okay javascript only has the name of java but uh, don't confuse yourself java is different and javascript is different okay this is scripting language fine then uh, let us uh, okay let us understand the difference using this uh, cell phone let us uh, it's an analogy okay don't confuse so uh, if you take the cell phone one might have designed the buttons right a settings button the camera option the logo for the camera and uh, the logo for uh, this app this application whatever it is but if you kick uh, this camera button the camera automatically the camera should work right uh, it should uh, the system should uh, make the camera work that that code is actually written using ja uh, can be compared to javascript and this button designing can be compared to html so designing is all about uh, html is all about designing and uh, javascript is all about functioning okay that is the analogy i have uh, i have been trying to say so in this next next lecture we are going to uh, see about the uh, basic syntax of html thank you hello everyone in this lecture we are going to see how to write an html code okay and we are going to uh, run the code in our browser and going to check whether it is it works or not uh, most of you might have learned uh, html in your elementary schools itself and it's a very easy uh, programming language right so might have learned so you guys have a refresher or a recap okay okay but uh, and some might have uh, you know have not uh, learned it so, so let us try to write a code in html and the ed editor can be anything editor can be any uh, normal uh, you know a software a typing software maybe a notepad or uh, microsoft word anything so let us uh, search here uh, let us use notepad which is very very easy to use right okay i have opened the notepad let us maximize it then uh, okay let us you know zoom it then only uh, it will be clear in the video right okay so recall that or understand that uh, HTML code should be written in tags, right? The keywords are known as tags, right? So you have a, an opening tag somewhat look like this HTML. Everything should be included in this tag, okay? Everything should be typed in this tag, inside this tag and uh, uh, the tag should be, oh, sorry, sorry. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry guys. Uh, the tag should be closed like this, right? So this is the opening tag and this is the closing tag and inside this you can write your code. Okay, In inside this you can use any number of tags to you know enhance your web page. Okay, so uh, the code for web pages should be um, uh, placed inside here. So let us write a code. Okay, HTML. Then uh, inside uh, when you write HTML it means it is HTML code. Okay, so that, that's why I am mentioning the tag HTML. There are a lot of tags in HTML. You can actually go through it. You might be knowing it. So let us uh, rush up. HTML, uh, you generally people use body tag to print something in web pages. Okay, so the body of the web page should be uh, designed here inside the body tag. So, okay, let us move this. Okay, body, uh, let us type hello world. Okay, hello world. Yeah, fine. Uh, okay, let us close this body tag. Okay, we have to close this body tag, then, then only the, it will work properly and close the HTML tag. Uh, the tags will also be included like head tag, title tag, uh, that, that are not needed here. I'll tell you why, okay? Uh, this is enough to for an HTML code. Then after you are, uh, you are clear with it or you are done with it, you save it. Let us save this in some somewhere. Uh, desktop, yeah, there is a new folder here. Let us save that. Okay? All right, okay, let us save it as my lecture one, okay? dot the extension is dot html okay you should not uh, save it as text then it will not uh, display in browser the extension is dot html so you click lock all files here my my lecture one dot html this is very very important the extension is dot html then save the file okay uh, let us uh, go go to the folder let us check our file uh, our file is here right so let us click it and open it with a browser okay and yeah, I'm using uh, Microsoft test and there it is. It is our output, right? Hello world. That's what we try to pin. And this is my Microsoft Edge browser. So uh, this is in my web page. Hello world. What I, whatever I've typed in the source, uh, it, it is in my web page, right? This is my source. This is my source code. And this is my output. Okay. This is in my web page browser. 
and also you can type anything here and uh, there are other tags also some other tags okay let us see that also there are there, there's a tight uh, tag called title tag title uh, my web page okay you should uh, my web page you should close the tag here title whenever you open a tag close it okay you should close it so plus control is to save or uh, you may know you the right oh sorry not save it save as you should save the file then go to the browser uh, refresh the uh, refresh it uh, whatever changes you have made to the source code will be reflected here when you refresh the file so refresh it i have removed hello world so hello world uh, you know has vanished here see the title tag is here right so let us close these two web pages the title tag is here i have i know i have uh, put the title as my web page and it is shown here my web page okay so this is my title how to design the title tag there are some other tags also so in inside body i can use that uh, maybe h1 h1 is a tag to uh, uh, enhance the uh, you know sentences h1 is a tag okay so i have i have typed hello world let us save this go back to the browser refresh yeah you can see the difference right it is uh, you know it uh, it has been bolded and uh, its font size has been increased so there are a lot of tags in html we can use that i one more uh, favorite tag is there. there are a lot of tag i have one favorite tag marquee right it's uh, it's my favorite tag so let us use this you can actually surf through the internet to use these tags and all marquee right? let us save this and let us go for the browser let us yeah it will uh, actually uh, uh, roll on the uh, web pages it's actually my favorite tag either it should uh, you can control it using uh, in code whether it should uh, roll from um, you know right to uh, left or left to right or up to down vertically whatever it is okay so this is how you uh, write the code for the web page everything sh everything should be mentioned inside the tags uh, this is pure html in, the, in our next ne next lecture we are going to see how to write a javascript here okay how to write a javascript code here that's what we are going to see in next lecture okay so thank you so in this lecture uh, lecture number 3 we are going to write our first javascript code okay so uh, how to uh, print something oh, let us write uh, let us print hello world using java in the previous video we as uh, a javascript i'm sorry in the previous video we have printed hello world using html uh, in this video we are also going to use html but javascript uh, will be embedded inside the html code okay javascript will be embedded inside the html uh, this is the point you have to understand so let us uh, uh, start with html i can zoom this right again okay html then let us open the body tag and let us close the body tag i'll uh, okay i'll just observe what i'm doing and uh, let us close the html tag also right this is the basic html uh, structure right you have uh, uh, opening tags and closing tags right and uh, if you execute this code nothing will be printed on your web page right so uh, but to differentiate the html code and the java code uh, javascript okay so java, the J js code will be uh, placed inside these two tags like script okay so whenever i write script when you whenever you write something in uh, in between these two tags it means you are writing javascript code okay in this way the javascript code is actually embedded inside the html clear i hope you clear so let us print something okay so in normally uh, to print something we use uh, a function in javascript let us document dot write okay whenever i write document uh, dot write whenever i type uh, it means that i'm going to print something you have to open the uh, brace and type something here let us write uh, hello world right okay hello world. let us close this okay and you have to put a semicolon the semicolon means that uh, the statement is over the statement has is ended okay this denotes the uh, end of the statement and javascript all the statements in javascript will end with a semicolon okay so uh, document dot write this is a function used to print uh, any statement here okay this will print uh, some statement in our web pages let us save this uh, file save as okay save as um lecture number three right lecture number three html uh, the syntax the extension is actually dot html and uh, i have explained this in my uh, previous video okay save let us go to the file and open it 
So let's say three is here. Let us try to open it. Yeah, it has printed hello world. So what if you uh, remove this function, whether it will uh, let us go to the source. Okay. So this is the source, source code. If uh, in the previous uh, lecture or video, uh, we don't have script tags and uh, we just uh, wrote a hello world inside the body tag itself and it has printed hello world. But here, if you don't uh, use this function, it will not work. Okay. If, uh, for example, let us uh, remove this function document dot write. Okay. Let us uh, use it as hello world. Let us check whether it is it will print or not. Let us save this and go to the browser refresh. Nothing will be printed. The code is actually wrong. Okay. So uh, in JavaScript, if you want to print something, you have to use document dot write. Okay. Document dot write. So to get user output, you have to write uh, document. You have to use this function document dot write. Okay. This is uh, your first JavaScript code. In the next lecture, uh, we'll see. Uh, how to declare the variables and how to do operations on variables, right? Thank you. Hey guys, in this lecture, we are going to declare variables, how to uh, use variables in the uh, JavaScript. Okay, let us search Notepad. We normally use Notepad in our lectures, right? So let us go for Notepad. Yeah, Notepad. Yeah, here it is. Let us zoom in. Control plus, right? Okay, okay, let us. Uh, do the uh, needful uh, the basic structure of HTML right? HTML body then script tag then only uh, our uh, code must be uh, placed the code must be placed in inside our uh, script tag because whenever I write script tag it means to JavaScript okay so uh, this is how uh, JS is embedded inside uh, HTML I will explain that in previous previous video also right so hey script let us declare variable to declare any variable we have to use one function like uh, sorry one keyword like var var x or you can write y anything okay so so let us write var uh, x this var means the short form of variable so this is a keyword to represent uh, x is a variable okay if you any, anything you can uh, write here it but it should not start with a number the variable name should not start with a number i can say very where uh, book then uh, the variable name is actually book I can say uh, ABC it's allowed and underscore is actually allowed ABC one two three this is actually this is also a variable name but the variable name should not start with a number um, this will throw an error uh, in JavaScript that uh, the browser will not show any error okay uh, if you you know if you have a syntax error in your code it will not print anything it will leave you a blank page okay um, uh, uh, using that you should understand that there is an error in your code Okay, so where so let us stay uh, right where uh, x, which means that variable x is equals five. Let us okay to assign some values to our uh, variable, we use the this uh, equal to okay. So if you mention like this, five will be stored in x, right? So let us put a semicolon to end this statement. Okay, so to print x, we uh, we use uh, document dot write right. So document dot write x. Let us put a semicolon and let us close the tags. Okay, script tag should be closed, then body tag should be closed, then HTML tag should be closed. This is our complete code, right? So let us save this as variables dot HTML. Okay, and here you put all files. Save. Uh, that's not a problem, but uh, anyway, uh, new folder. Let us close new folder variables here. Let us open this. Open this with the browser. Okay. So a five is printed because why it is five? Because in, the, in our source we declared a uh, we declared a variable called x. We assigned a value five to x and we try to print the value of x. So five is actually printed. Okay. In this way you can do anything in this. Let us say uh, uh, variable y. That its value is five. Okay. Its value is ten. Let us let it be any value. Uh, uh, let us add these two vari uh, variable uh, numbers. Okay. Uh, x plus y. Uh, equals that which means the x plus y uh, will be done that means the 5 plus 10 will be added then it will be, sto it will be stored in z let us close this and try to print the value of z okay so two variables are declared and uh, two uh, x is assigned 5 and y is assigned 10 then z is assigned x plus y which is 5 plus 10 so it should put 15 right okay let's check whether it is printing 15 or not okay let us save this code save this code using controllers or I can save this okay then go to browser refresh the code 
it will show 50 right so mathematical operators will work here okay i'll explain all the math mathematical operators in this video itself it's not a problem okay let's go to the source uh you can also subtract it okay subtract it save the code go to the browser refresh you'll get minus 5 yeah, because 5 minus 10 is minus 5 right you can subtract it then you can also multiply these uh, two values save this uh, go to the browser refresh then you'll get 50 right 5 into 10 is 50 you can also divide that value also and uh, divide that is two division uh, it is it will okay let us x uh, slash y uh, let's uh, check wa what it returns this is important right let us check what it returns 0 0.5 uh, see uh, in most of the programming languages or in C if you do this or x divided by y it, it will return only the uh, uh, you know uh, quotient but in uh, JavaScript it returns uh, the you know the exact uh, division value uh, 5 divided by 10 is actually 0.5 right it returns the exact uh, you know, value of the uh, mathematical operation okay so is it this uh, x slash y will divide these two values so that's what i'm trying to say the math operators will be very very useful in uh, doing the programs and there's another operators called modulus operator that that also can be used okay let us save this uh, this is symbol for modulus operator that's the percentage symbol right and put here then 5 divided by uh, Phi uh, modulo 10 will be done. Okay, so let us. It's it's actually five. Let us go to the code. Phi divided by 10. Phi uh, modulo 10. It's actually five. So five will be stored and five will be printed. Fine. So you have the increment operator also. Uh, okay. Let us. Okay. Let us use the increment operator. To increment operator is actually unary operator. So you need only one variable. Yeah, uh, one variable is enough, right? So let us x. Let us use x plus plus then let us try to print x okay so let us save this code go back to the browser refresh it it will print it will print 6 because what will happen uh, 5 will be assigned to x and x plus x plus plus is actually means you are uh, trying to print x is equal to x plus 1 this is actually equivalent to x is equal to x plus 1 which means I increment the value of x by uh, 1 okay so 1 uh, 5 plus 1 will give 6 right so 6 will be printed here this is another operator mathematical operator which you might be uh, using in your code okay so that's all let us in our next lecture let us see how to get uh, user input in javascript using javascript okay thank you hello guys i welcome you all to lecture number five so in this lecture we are going to see how to get user input in javascript okay so I have a notepad here open and okay so let us get the user input so i'll follow the basic uh, html syntax html body usually the script tag will be placed inside the body and alternatively it can be placed in uh, title tag also or uh, that is another tag right head tag also uh, not title tag uh, in the head tag also you can uh, place the uh, script okay it will be uh, working so uh, inside the script uh, we have to write the java code right so let us declare a variable to store our input let us say where var x where is the uh, keyword to declare a variable we have seen in that in the previous video so uh, the function which is used to get the user input is actually window.prompt okay which it will prompt the user to give the input in the uh, web page window.prompt and you have to write like this um, enter a number maybe okay enter a number you put a semicolon to end the statement so window.prompt whatever you give here will be prompted to the user right and there will be a empty box for for the user to give the input right so let us print the value of x whatever uh, user uh, types inside the box should be printed right so let us print that okay using document.write we have seen that okay let us close the script tag let us close the body tag let us close the html tag also uh, these and all should be done then uh, save this maybe lecture number five dot html okay let's go to the file and open it so new folder is here it's number five right open so uh, once the web page is open ah uh, yeah here it is it is our prompt box it says enter a number and I, i'm entering a number say let us say eight 
I'm entering 8, I'm pressing OK and 8 will be printed because what it happens if I press 8, 8 will be stored in X and that will be printed using this function document dot write. Um, right. So this is a uh, basic code to get the user input and uh, in my next lecture, I'll explain uh, you know how to use some other operators, assignment operators, comparison operators, logical operators and all. Okay. So thank you. That's all. Hey guys, I welcome you all to lecture number six. In this lecture, we are going to see about the uh, different types of data types in uh, JavaScript. Okay, it's actually a very easy concept. So the different types of data types in JavaScript is actually three. One is integer, another one is floating point, floating point number, and another one is actually a string. Okay, so let us try to illustrate that. Uh, let us say variable phi is equal to x. If you print, uh, if you print, if you write a document dot write in say bracket x it will print phi right so phi is actually an integer so uh, that will be uh, understood understood by the compiler okay so phi is actually an integer but you don't have any separate uh, keyword for integer float and uh, you know string the keyword is actually variable to declare any variable the keyword is actually var okay var so let us uh, try to illustrate a floating point number 50.09 if you uh, use this decimal point, then it is actually a floating point number. Let us save this code. Let us go to the browser. Refresh T. 50.09 is actually printed. Uh, what I mean is this is a floating point number. This is not integer. Okay. So let us uh, go for the another uh, you know data type, which is string. So x is equal to. Um, let us print hello. How are you? Okay. This is actually a string. Okay. Hello, how are you? Let us save this code and go to the browser. Yeah, it will print. Hello, how are you? Right, this is string. Uh, this is actually a string. This is this is another data type in uh, JavaScript. Okay, if you are uh, you know good in programming language, then these and all you might be knowing already. Right, so I'm sorry to explain you again. And uh, let us uh, write another uh, string. Okay, how how are you? Yes. I am fine. Okay. Let us try to put a semicolon. Let us try to put uh, x plus y. Let's see what happens. Right. Uh, let us save this file. Let us go to the browser. Yeah. Hello. How are you? Yes. I am fine. What happened is uh, if you write like this x plus y, then these two strings will be concatenated. That is, these two strings uh, will be in simple words, these two strings will be added. Hello. How are you? And yes, I am fine. These two strings will be added. Okay, if you simply you can add this by using this plus operator. Uh, this is available in Python also, right? Um, yeah, this is actually a, a string data type, and there is another data type also called Boolean data type. Okay, so I forgot to mention that. I'm sorry. There is another data type also Boolean data type. Okay, so the value of Boolean data type is actually uh, true or false. There are only two values. Either it is true or false. So you can uh, declare like this x is equal to true right and uh, which means that uh, uh, if you put like this if you put variable x is equal to true then this is actually x is a boolean uh, data type or x is of type boolean okay so there are four data types in uh, javascript actually one is integer floating point number string and one other one is boolean or another one value for boolean is false right so um, there are only two two values possible uh, in boolean data type we can also like this uh, right like this put in uh, you know square uh, sorry double quotes then it becomes a string now okay whatever uh, you mention inside this uh, double quotes will become string so this is the difference between uh, string and the boolean operator you might be asking whether uh, this true will be taken as string or boolean data type. So now this is boolean, okay? So if you try to print the value of x and y, it will print true and uh, false, right? So false also means zero and true also means uh, one or any real value, okay? True uh, means a real value. So the uh, only the these two values can be accepted by the uh, boolean variables, okay? Whether uh, any variable, okay? Bo oh, sorry, I mean uh, the name of the boolean variables can be anything. Uh, but uh, it should strictly follow the conventions. It should not start with a number and it should not have any special characters. Okay. Okay. That's all you know. Okay. Let's stop with this and go for the next lecture.
hey guys i welcome you all to lecture number 7 so in this lecture we are going to see about the if statement and if else statements okay so how it is useful in uh, you know in javascript and we are we are going to um, understand the uh, use of assignment operators or comparison operators also so let us write uh, where variable x or var x is equal to 5 okay let us write var y is equal to 5 this is also possible or you can write like this also okay if uh, y x is equal to 5 then y is also equal to 5 okay so let us uh, the syntax of if statement is if inside the bracket inside this bracket you have to give you uh, give the condition open a block close a block right so if the condition given inside the bracket is true then the block will be executed okay this block will be executed so let us write uh, Let us check whether x is equal equal x equal equal y, which means that it will check. This is the uh, you know uh, e called uh, equality operator. This will check whether uh, the left hand operand and the right hand operand are equal. If these two are equal, then let us print document dot write write. This is the function used to print. Let us print. Great. Or true. Okay, true. Let us print true. Okay. So how it works, you know. Ah. Uh, it will check x is equal to y and this equality equality operator has two values either true or false if these two are uh, this condition is true this will return true and this box will be this block will be executed you can give anything here okay let us save this code go to the browser refresh it it is true right because uh, x is uh, x actually equals 5 oh it is true so let us uh, you know let us uh, destroy this condition let us make this condition false y is equal to 10 any value okay save this file go to the browser refresh it nothing will be printed because uh, the if block is uh, is actually not executed this condition becomes false here so this is the use of if statement in uh, javascript this is actually an easy one and uh, let us use another operator also called uh, um you know comparison operator greater than operator uh, it will check whether x is actually greater than 5 Uh, if it is true it will print uh, true okay save go to the browser refresh nothing will be printed because uh, x is not greater than 5 that's my simple answer right so let us uh, put x less than 5 let us save this go to the browser it will print true because uh, 5 is actually less than 10 right so if you use less than operator it will print true so this is another uh, way to illustrate the uh, comparison operators then uh, you can put uh, less than or equal to and uh, greater than or equal to is all actually also possible right so these are the uh, comparison operators in javascript i'm just giving an overview and this because this course is actually a basic introduction introductory course okay so um uh, so yeah this is the way you can use the if statement uh, let us try to use the if else statement also both if statement and if else statement okay so let us write try to write a code using if statement and if else statement so let us declare a variable 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 x is equal to 5 and another variable y is equal to maybe 50 okay if x equals equals y which means that if x is equal to y you have to print sorry document dot write document dot write both are equal okay yeah that is the uh, object statement right both are equal else else document dot write both are not equal it is a syntax for else statement so else statement can't exist without uh, if statement okay then it will uh, it will not work else statement should be placed immediately after if statement but the else statement is actually optional um, it can be neglected if it is not necessary let us save this code and go to the browser okay we will print both are not equal because um uh, because let us go to the source right because the x, uh, x and y are not equal it is one is 5 and one is 50 let us get the user input for x and y uh, let us print uh, sorry let us write like this where let us declare variables like this uh, where var x comma y uh, for x get the user input document dot write Ah, oh, sorry. It will print something, right? It is not the correct way to write the code. Window dot prompt. Window dot prompt. 
enter number one right enter a number or number one what i mean is uh, not i'm um, not actually meaning the number one uh, enter first number let it be let us not make much, much confusion so the enter first number so y equals uh, window dot prompt enter uh, second number okay let us end this with a semicolon then save this code go to the browser refresh it it will ask the first number let us enter the number maybe uh, 13 right it's all second number let us enter the number also 13 will enter let us check whether it is print whether it is printing both are equal okay yeah both are equal it prints it works okay our code works so this is how you get the uh, uh, you know output from if else statement uh, and this is actually very very important the if else statement is uh, is one of the important uh, uh, in uh, in any uh, programming language okay the if statement will be important then uh, in the next video uh, we're going to see how to use uh, loops in uh, you know javascript okay thank you hey guys i welcome you all to lecture number eight in this lecture we are going to you see how to use else if statements or otherwise it is, it is called else if later uh, in c programming actually uh, let us uh, check how how to use that okay so let us uh, remove these so variable x is equal to y mm, let us declare those variables let us initialize those variables x is equal to 5 and y is actually initialized 10 okay these are the initial values of x and y and uh, let us uh, declare another variable also right let us declare another variable is that equals to 5 so else if statement can be written like this if x equal equal y uh, you print if x you open the block you print document dot write uh, you know print x okay let us print x okay x okay else if else if which means that uh, else if if you the, the statement is not true Print, uh, go for the else statement but check, check a condition there for the else statement also there is a condition okay that's what it means if y equal equal z you print document dot write the value of y okay so let us close this code or uh, you can put any number of else if statements okay if else if okay if you can put any number of else if statement if y not equals to is that let us print a uh, document uh, this is called document uh, this is called uh, not equal okay and uh, an exclamatory mark and equal to sign not equal okay document dot right value of is it and put a semicolon post this else the last statement should be else yeah, this is optional document dot right um, let us try to print sorry okay <laughs> just a mere statement okay there is nothing behind it okay so what it will actually do you know it will first check x is equal to y if it is true it will print x otherwise it will go and check other the other statement else if it check uh, y is equal y equals z if it, this is also if this is true it will print y and uh, stop executing uh, and uh, you know complete the else if later if it is not true then it will go and uncheck the other statement uh, if it is true it print it get printed or not true uh, finally it will, uh, prints uh, else statement okay if um, nothing out of uh, these statements are true it will print uh, else statement okay let us save this code this is what we call as else if later let us save this code go to the browser refresh that 5 is printed why it is printing 5 let us check that in our code so x is equal to 5 y is equal to 10 it will check 5 equals 10 it is not true condition is actually false so this will not be executed then it, it, it will check whether y is equal to 5 10 is equal to 5 it is also not true though this block will not be executed it will move on to the next block it will check why uh, 10 is not equal to 5 10 not equal to 5 the condition is actually true then it will print the value of z z is actually 5 so uh, 5 is get getting printed here fine so this is how the else if later will look like thank you
hey guys in this uh, lecture lecture number 9 actually uh, we are going to use loops uh, uh, to uh, do our operations okay so we are going to check how to use loop okay what what do you mean by a loop actually in programming a loop means uh, that a particular statement should be executed again and again until the condition gets false that's what it actually repeats the iteration so i can execute a block of code in a uh, number of times okay now the number of times can be mentioned by the user the uh, condition also can be mentioned by the user the statements also as well okay so let us if the condition is true uh, it will execute it uh, as many number of times till the condition gets false that is actually called as a loop okay so looping right looping again and again that, that, that what it means actually so let us check uh, let us first try to understand the for loop okay so for loop has three arguments okay the first argument should be your uh, uh, initial value i i equals 0 and semicolon uh, this can be uh, any variable uh, let us declare that variable you should declare that variable here or you can also declare that inside the uh, for loop also very right okay which means that variable i equals 0 which means uh, sorry you may be knowing it right if you are uh, actually uh, uh, you know good in programming you may be knowing it uh, that means a variable i will be declared and it has initialized the value with 0 it has been initialized the value with 0 right then let us take uh, let us put a condition i less than or equals 10 okay uh, okay this so the second statement should be condition in for loop this for loop is actually called as classical for loop in javascript okay so first statement should be initialization second statement should be uh, condition okay if it it will check whether i is less than 10 or not then you have to increment the value of i uh, or else it will become an infinite loop okay the top search result of i okay so after incrementing so this is our for loop this is how you write a for loop okay so inside the block you can write the statement uh, okay let us try to print the value of i itself one dot write i okay let's close the for loop save this file and yeah, let's go to save and uh, let's go to the browser and check this okay let's open this file here it prints 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10. what it oh, what it means is first let us uh, check this okay first i will be declared 0 i will be initialized to a value 0 okay then it will uh, the condition will be checked whether it is uh, whether 0 is less than 10 less than or equals 10 okay if the condition is true then i will be printed okay so it prints uh, 0 here let us check the browser it prints 0 right it prints 0 okay the next statement will be uh, i is initialized to 0 and 0 is less than or uh, uh, i is okay i'm sorry the next statement would be uh, i will be incremented so uh, i plus plus becomes one we have already seen that right zero plus one becomes one so other uh, again it will check the condition whether one is less than or equals ten if it is true it will print i so now the i value is actually one okay so one will be printed clear so let us go and check another again the i will be incremented uh, i becomes two now so two less than or equal to ten the condition is true so it gets printed 2 gets printed so, uh, uh, again i will be incremented I, I will be 3 so 3 less than or equal to 10 is true so 3 will be printed until 10 okay until uh, okay, let us say i is i equals 10 now after so many increment uh, operations so if we will check 10 less than or equal to 10 condition is also true so i will be printed then i will be incremented i becomes 11 then we will check 11 11 less than or equal to 10 condition is false it will come out of the loop okay so up to 10 the numbers will be printed so we have written a code to print uh, the numbers from 0 to 10 in uh, javascript so using for loop so this is how you use for loop in a javascript okay so this statement is actually op uh, optional all the three uh, arguments in this for loop is actually op optional okay you can remove this you can leave it as blank and you can declare uh, 
in the first statement i var variable i is equal to 0 save this go to the uh, and refresh this will be executed okay uh, it works one and the same as we have done before okay so this, yeah this is how you write a uh, for loop let us remove this increment operator and check what happens okay uh, this will be fun right let us remove, uh, let us uh, have the condition alone we have the initialization not a problem so but we have uh, remove the increment uh, sorry increment or decrement operator you can use decrement also it is also possible let us go to the browser you can see the you know this uh, the loading option right the loading is actually uh, uh, seen here uh, it is getting continuously loaded which means that it couldn't come out of the loop the web page will be uh, loading 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 okay it couldn't uh, come out of the loop which means that it, it leads to an infinite loop okay it leads to an infinite loop so you you have to given uh, uh, increment or decrement statement here it is i i equals i i plus 1 this is also possible or uh, i can give i equals i plus 3 any value you can give but it should increment our uh, counter this is called counter it should increment our or decrement anything De- increment or decrement our counter okay let's go to the browser the web page is not responding i think it has hanged right so there is some problem with the web page let's get back to it Don't use infinite loops in your your web pages, then it will become a problem to your web pages. So zero, three, six, nine, because i is incremented by a value three times, so it will increment by uh, by three, right? So zero, three, six, nine, multiples of three gets printed. So uh, let's go to the source. So this is how this is also optional. We can, sorry, not optional. You can leave this and give it inside. Not a problem. Okay, like inside the loop. Uh, let us say i plus plus itself. Let us save this. Go to the browser, then refresh. yeah it will be executed uh, same that we have seen before right so this this, this is what i mean by a uh, for loop so this is actually important in uh, javascript uh, this is called classical for loop the there is another for loop also that you will uh, that you can uh, see through the net uh, that is actually outdated okay so this is how you write a for loop clear right so uh let us uh now try to know about the uh, break or something okay let us see that in uh, the next video thank you hey guys i welcome you all to the lecture number 10 in this lecture we are going to see about while loops it's actually very similar to for loop except the fact that it has only one uh, para- parameter or one argument whatever you can say uh it is actually the condition it acts as only the condition so let us write the code here let us have declared a variable variable i where i is equal to 0 it is initialized with a value called 0 so let us write a while loop i uh you know let us say less than equal to 50 okay 50 then print document dot write i so i will be printed but i should be incremented right then only it, uh, it will be increment otherwise it will go into an infinite loop it will cause harm to harm to our browser right so i plus plus save this uh, let us open that file yeah yeah it is lecture number 5 yeah Uh, number 10 actually has the name is i forgot to change yeah it will start printing from uh, 0 up to 50 but what is that i couldn't uh, read any numbers right so we have to use one statement called break statement then only the it will break so to put plus i'll show you the syntax here plus uh, i'm say double colon you put br right so this is syntax for the break statement save it go to the browser refresh yeah the uh, this uh, break statement is actually used in html to break the uh, para- uh, line sentences okay so if you break the uh, you know uh, the statement it will be uh, like this for every iteration uh, break will be executed then uh, uh, all will be uh, printed like one by one okay so this understand that this is different from the 
break statement which is used in javascript this is actually in html there is another break statement also that is actually different if you give that uh, okay like let me explain it in a separate lecture okay uh, break and continue statements are different okay this uh, lecture is all about while loop so this is how you write while loop okay uh, yeah this, this is the basic concepts about uh, while loop and understand that there is one more key uh, you have to understand here uh, um the while loop will execute until the condition gets false if the condition gets false the while loop will come out of execution okay so let us and uh, uh, see one more uh, loop uh, which is do while loop in the next lecture thank you hey guys i welcome you all to lecture number 11 in this lecture we are going to see about do while loop. so what is the difference between do while loop and while loop why we need a loop like do while so the syntax of do while is this you first write a do statement then uh, while a condition should be given with a semicolon remember this semicolon this is not in while loop if you give this semicolon while loop then uh, nothing will be executed okay the it iterates by in the condition itself nothing will be executed do not throw in error, error but the do while loop this semicolon should be given more than first first do then while what it means is let us try to print the document dot write okay let us try to print i value okay i value plus give uh, give a break uh, otherwise it will confuse me or the computer sorry okay let us give the statement here or oh, sorry the condition here inside the while loop i should be less than e equals 1 and let us check 1 okay let's see what happens or i less than 1 given okay let's see what happens so i have declared a variable i with a value 1 and i am trying to print the value of i with uh, so the break statement is not necessary okay will take y um uh, one and i am checking the condition if one is less than one so let us try to print the value yeah one is getting printed here please remember that one is getting printed what do you mean is one is actually uh, initialized to i so first do uh, do block will be executed which means that first it will print the value of i then only it will check the condition if you do this same uh, procedure in uh, while loop it, it will, and nothing will be printed okay so let us check the while loop also uh, whether it, will, it gets printed or not let us close this okay, let us cut okay. so while i less than i i'll give the same condition why i less than 1 document dot write i uh, save this go to the browser yeah nothing will be printed okay so it prints nothing because uh the condition is actually false but if you do the same in the do while statement first it will it will print the uh, it will execute the uh, block or execute the statement then only the condition will be checked or uh, in other words i can say it will uh, print an uh, extra statement uh, when compared to the while loop okay it will print uh, if while loop prints n statements it will print n plus 1 statement or it will execute n plus 1 statement what is the difference between do while and while in while the condition will be checked first then the block will be executed here in do while the block will be executed first then only the condition will be checked that is the difference between do while and while loop you have a usage of do while in your uh, you know com some uh, standard programs whether i can i can show you in the description okay so thank you hello guys i welcome you all to this lecture this lecture is all about alert function prompt function and uh, transform okay we have already seen about uh, prompt function in the previous lecture itself it will prompt the user and it will get an input from the user right let us see about alert function what will be and okay let us write alert it's very simple let us write alert uh, this is javascript okay as uh, any statement you can put here any string semicolon save this go to the browser refresh it will give an alert box showing this site this site says 
this is javascript whatever you enter here will be displayed in the alert box in the source okay so let us see hi okay save this so the alert box will say hi okay so this is one uh, an important uh, feature of uh, javascript an alert uh, function we have one more uh, function called uh, confirm okay confirm uh, do you really need this do you really need this okay let us understand the difference between alert and confirm okay let us save this go to the yeah, it will say uh, it will ask whether do you really need it will, uh, can press whether okay or cancel okay so let us uh, uh, you can't understand uh, mere, uh, the difference between confirm and alert let us see it using a program let us write variable x x equals confirm uh, are you sure want to close this page right this uh, is the real usage of this confirm function it will confirm uh, your uh, intention okay so uh, what i mean is i have written a statement confirm are you sure want to close this page um, uh, variable uh, x okay so what uh, what i mean is this confirm is a function it, 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 it returns some values right it, it returns some values and that value can be stored in a left hand operand then only you can mention this left hand operand what i mean is if the function uh, returns some values you can store that in a left hand operand okay uh, the function may or may not uh, return any some values confirm returns some values that's why i'm storing it some uh, uh, variable and it is a uh, boolean it is almost similar to boolean it returns only true uh, two values true and uh, false okay so if you press ok it will return true that will be stored in x so x is a boolean variable uh, if you press cancel it will be taken as false and that will be stored in x okay let us check if x equals equals true true x equals true uh, print okay let us put an alert box okay alert thanks okay else let us print document dot write kindly continue kindly let us print kindly continue So this is how you uh, usage of confirm option will be. Uh, it will ask whether uh, the user wants to close the page really. Then then that will be stored in X. The result will be stored in X. The result of this confirm function. The out uh, the you know the output of this confirm function. Let's save this. Let's go to the browser and check. So it 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 asks me, are you sure want to close this page? I press OK. Then it will print thanks. Right. So because OK is uh, because uh, OK is actually true. Uh, if you press OK, it is taken as true. So uh, true will be stored in the X. So uh, if we compare uh, X X to true, X is actually true. So true will be compared to true. The condition gets uh, true. So this will be printed. Alert. Thanks will uh, an alert. Sorry, this will be alerted. The thanks will be alerted. Uh, let us check the uh, contrary condition also. Are you sure want to I press cancel? If you press cancel, kindly continue. That will be you can use alert here also. The usage depends upon the user. <laughs> okay, the user the usage depends upon the uh, um, one who writes this code. Okay, so here we stop this lecture. Thank you all. Thanks for your uh, continuous support. Uh, I think these are the fundamentals of JavaScript which I wanted to teach. So maybe in further co courses, we'll. Uh, See in deep about the functions, arrays, and all. But these are the fundamentals. This will give you an idea of uh, JavaScript, and it will uh, make sure that uh, it is easy to learn. Okay, JavaScript is very easy to learn, and uh, these uh, video lectures might approve. Okay, so thank you. Thanks for all.